Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Abdullah with another new video of Teclatets. In this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll design a two-way slab easily within a minute. So to design that, first of all, you have to select design code. Uh, from here, uh, I'm using this uh, design code uh, USA. Then here, click new. And when it's okay, after that, from here, you can select unit for which unit you want to use. So I'm using US unit and from here I'll just go to uh, concrete and from concrete I'll just go and design to a slab. Okay, so here you are seeing that this is the this is the form of two way slab. Okay, this is the form of two way slab. I'll just click continue. Okay, and wait for some time. So here, when we are here, first of all, we have to select here our design option slab without beam using ACI here the ACI code. Okay, slab without beam. So if you think that you want to design without beam slab without beam, then just you have to select uh, uh, design only slab. So from here, I am using the code 11. That's okay. And slab type, which types of slab without beam or with beam. So it's up to you. Actually, it's, it's required as per design condition. So if we uh, design with beam, then negative moment will uh, create, right? And if we use without beam, then uh, it will work strip like a simply supported. So I'll use without uh, with beam, then okay. So here slab thickness. What will the slab thickness? I'm considering our slab thickness first time. Our slab thickness will be four inches and uh, 4.5 actually 4.5 okay so in here uh, okay lx and li in a x direction and y direction what will be the distance consider that the distance will be right um, in x direction 10 and in okay in x direction 12 and in y direction that is 15 like that so when it's after that support details so here you have to use support details flange with beam width and um, beam uh, depth so here i am considering the flange beam details okay so here flange width what will the flange width bf actually that is 12 and also bw that will be 12 or uh, that will be 10 okay that will be 10 and our uh, the depth will be 12 I mean this is the size of beam so this is okay and from here you have to select your compressive stand you can write here or you can select here so I'm uh, I'm using and also FI I mean uh, yield stand so uh, sorry uh, great 60 bar so when it's done and here total factor ultimate load okay in uh, slab okay including self weight so including self weight what is the load what will be the load on slab okay suppose consider this would be uh, uh, how how can we can uh, calculate that consider that if i uh, open a calculator how will call uh, consider um per as i have uh, selected 4.5 inch so what will be the so 4.5 divided by 12 so this is the thickness into uh, 1 into 1 1 into 1 into 150 so this is the self weight per a square feet this is the 560 uh, 0.25 then uh, plus uh, we will uh, consider the live load consider 40 psf live load then floor finish consider 25 and if you have any retaining all consider that uh, sorry if you have any partition all then 50 uh, consider that so one Set um, 171. Okay, so uh, we can consider that 175, and uh, you can add more loads or anything. So here it is. So clear cover to the negative reinforcement. Both will be 0 0.75, and it will also say 0 0.75 for slab. And uh, select a report type full. So when it's done, okay, when it's done, I'll simply click a reinforcement. When our all data is okay, I'll provide a click a reinforcement. So column is uh, here you can see that column strip moment okay column strip moment 
still in x direction positive so always i will use number three bar everywhere everywhere i will use number three bar for slope number three or if you need you can use number four bar it's up to you okay so here i'll just come for column strip okay uh, here uh, the a spacing hot will be 3 and just see uh, area record 0 0.1 and we have provided 0 0.15 so for 9 inch spacing it's okay and co for column strip moment but that is uh, number 3 bar also that is okay for mid strip that is uh, required 0 0.1 but we have provided 0 0.15 uh, that is okay so middle strip moment middle strip so for middle strip moment in x direction plus v so uh, that for uh, we have provided number three with same spacing nine and also we can increase spacing and also in that side this three nine three nine uh, the required is 0 0.1 we have provided 0 0.15 one we have provided 0 point sorry here number four bar okay um sorry number three bar we provided 0 0.15 it's okay and here middle steep okay middle is steep reinforcement that is also okay but here if we see here a uh, distribution is still okay for distribution is still number three bar and here we uh, spacing are given much more so uh, if i consider uh, this spacing is also nine if you consider then it's okay see this okay so our reinforcement provided reinforcement is okay so i'll simply click okay and see the design value so everything is well okay except if we see here result view uh, depth of slab for that criteria our depth of slab is not okay so if i consider slab depth is uh, required five inch here see that the required slab is five inch right so here i will consider simply five inch so our uh, slab actually it's required five we have provided five the utilization ratio is uh, more and if we see here if you see here everything is okay and also for shear the uh, this slab can exist the shared value 0 0.92 sorry uh shear here if we on the provided 3.4 but uh, required 0 0.92 okay for shear it's okay for cover negative uh, cover negative is still that's also okay and cover positive is still that's also okay okay so when everything is done when everything is done just simply click finish and see here is the reinforcement here is the reinforcement for our slab if you see the section here if you see the um, to a slab panel view of slab panel this is the column strip this is the middle strip it has the beam so you can see that and if you go top here is a full calculation of our slab and if you come here this is the reinforcement detailing okay so if you come here and if you see here this is the reinforcement detailing for our slab okay so here everywhere the reinforcement detailing here available so this is representing top and this is representing the bottom reinforcement so i hope it's okay and uh, i hope you are you have understand about that in well way so thank you thank you very much and also if you have any uh, confusion or anything then you can comment me below i'll try to cover that so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video